Welcome everyone to our Lean channel, this is Mark. This video continues examining element 841 of the ISO 9001 standard, control of externally provided processes, products, and services. Today, we will discuss monitoring performance and re-evaluating external providers. Ready? Let's go! Supplier monitoring and re-evaluation are perhaps the most over-documented processes I have observed in various industries. As a rule, the larger the organization, the more complex the process is. Let me explain. When purchasing products from a supplier, what should we measure regarding provider performance? Right, we need on-time delivery, no product failures, and on-time quality evaluation of reported issues. This model may sound practical to most of us, but many companies go overboard with their measurements. For example, some companies create a scale for on-time delivery, right on time is 100%, one day before or after is 98%, and so on. Similar scales are also used for defect rates, no rejections are 100%, 1-5% rejections in a lot are 95%, etc. After they code all measurements in this near-insane manner, they combine them with bizarre algorithms to produce a quote-unquote supplier score. And this is not the end of this madness. After the score is generated, organizations establish arbitrary ranges for good, tolerable, and bad providers. For example, a score of 100 to 85 is good. 84 to 75 is not so good. And below 74, the supplier needs action, etc. Look at this pitiful example. Aside from endless misspellings and grammatical errors, the procedure not only translated KPIs into mysteriously calculated numbers but also assigned a quote-unquote weight to all categories. Quality is 40. Delivery is 40. And support, the hell with support. We will assign a 20% contribution to the total score. If you want to read the whole procedure, the link is below. Be warned, though, you may get a headache. Another example shows a procedure where the company came up with grading supplier responses on a 1 to 100 scale. The link is also below. By now, you may scratch your head, asking yourself where the hell I am going with this. Stick with me, I will explain. In the 5th century BC, a Chinese philosopher, Confucius, said, Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. I think the same when looking at all these confusing models for reporting deliveries, rejects, and late responses from suppliers. Here is an example of stopping at a practical point. Do you remember your school years or engineering projects when you needed to use pi, a constant that is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter? Do you remember how many decimal points are after the number 3? Trillions. This is an indefinite number that never ends. So, what do we do if we need to use pi? Right, we take the part that serves the requirement for the accuracy of the calculation. In school, we need 3.14, if you are a rocket scientist, you may need 3, 4, 5, or whatever decimal points. Now, considering this example, do you think we will miss any information critical to the supplier if we report just the percentage of late deliveries or rejected parts? I do not think so. Regretfully, these crazy reporting algorithms are not the end of the problem. There is another twist. Depending on the criticality of suppliers, often called tiers, the companies establish frequencies of issuance of the supplier scorecards. Tier 1 every month, 2 quarterly, 3 annually, etc. What a nonsense! Do you remember the Supervisory Skills 101 course? Among many other things, the feedback should be timely, period. Not at the end of the month, quarter, or year, but now. Sadly, I have witnessed endless examples of companies employing dozens of supplier quality engineers to crunch insane formulas to follow the organization's procedures and send their suppliers those unconceivable scores. What is the solution? Simple. Use the lean process to get rid of waste. Record receipts indicating timeliness, defects, supplier corrective action requests, scars, and whatever else you want, and provide this information to your supplier on an as-you-go basis. It's simple and practical. Let's summarize our discussion today. Determine KPIs that show the meaningful performance of the suppliers. Define the indicators and measurements in a way that you and your supplier understand. 
Forget about monthly, quarterly, or annual supplier scorecards, share supplier performance information as you go. This is all for today folks. The following video will discuss how to document the supplier evaluation process. Stick around, and I will share a helpful supplier evaluation record template with you. As always, check our free downloads. Visit our website's academy page to see how our sample documents can improve your management system. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, like, and comment. Your support helps us promote our Lean QMS project.